What's going on guys, this is Andrew Chicken and welcome back to another video. Season 3 is finally here and with it comes the first guide of many, since most champions have been changed in some way or another and that has completely redefined the meta and changed the playstyle of quite a few different champions. I asked you guys which champion you wanted me to cover first in a poll about a month ago, and a lot of you asked for Shaolin, who is the champion that got changed the most in this patch. So in this video, I'll be going over the best tips, tricks, and loadouts to help you get better at Shaolin. But first, since Season 3 has only just come out, let's go over the key changes and reworks that have come to Shaolin's kit. First off, Shaolin has received two huge changes to his base kit. His old Planted, which used to root you in one place while you fire off a barrage of arrows dealing 800 damage apiece, has been changed so that you now move around while firing, which makes him a lot less vulnerable while using Planted than before. The arrows deal a bit less damage though, but ultimately this ability is much stronger now, and the ability to use it while moving makes it much more viable to use. The other ability which got changed is his Impaler Arrow, which has become much easier to use and in my opinion a bit more powerful. Instead of knocking enemies back and stunning them if they're near a wall like the old Impaler Arrow, this new Crippling Arrow does exactly what it says in the name. It cripples enemies. This works no matter where you hit the target, so you no longer have to worry about the janky wall mechanic from the old Impaler Arrow. This also means that you can now cancel other enemies' movement abilities while they're happening, including but not limited to Rom's Sprint and Terminus' Shatterfall. In my opinion, this is a really powerful ability to have. Shaolin's talents have also been buffed and reworked. The most notable change is the rework to Desert Shadow, which used to give bonus damage to the first shot after using Withdraw. Instead, this replaces the Cripple and the Crippling Arrow with a full-blown Silence, making Shaolin the only other champion with access to the powerful silencing effect after Torvald. This gives it even more versatility than before, since he can cancel even more abilities such as Ash's ult, and it can also give Shaolin a huge advantage in a fight versus a lot of different champions, including Bomb King who is unable to detonate his bombs while silenced. The next talent which received a change is Explosive Arrows, which has received a minor change to simply apply the cripple to the explosion, and no longer knock back the enemy. It also received a slight damage nerf, going from an additional 300 damage on the crippling arrow to just an extra 100 damage. The last change to his talents is a buff to Recurve, which lets Shaolin charges both 25% faster instead of 15% faster. All in all, these new talent and base kit changes make Shaolin a much stronger champion than before. Now, let's look at the types of loadouts you'll want to be using. Alright, now this loadout I've made focuses a lot on cooldown reduction and having your abilities up as much as possible. It works for any talent, although if you want one heavily focused around the Impaler Arrow, I'll get to that one in a minute. Personally, I use Recurve with this loadout just because my aim isn't exactly the best with Shaolin, and I find his normal rate of fire to be a bit too unforgiving, but it works just as well with his other two Impaler Arrow centered talents. Now, this loadout has been optimized to help you get your rapid shot up as much as possible, with Bullseye at 5 so that once you use your abilities to kill a target, you'll get 50% of all your cooldowns reduced. Rapid Shot has an 18 second cooldown, so that means once you finish off a target even while Rapid Shot is still active, you'll be getting 9 seconds off of your cooldown. This is ultimately more cooldown reduction than if you were to put the straightforward cooldown reduction card in at max level, which only gives you 3 seconds off the max cooldown of Quick Shot. To help you get Quickshot even more often, we have Skewer in there at level 3, which is just a convenient card to have if you find yourself in a fight and need a few seconds before you can get Quickshot up again. Now the one thing I will mention with this loadout is that it is very dependent on you being able to enter battle with all of your abilities off cooldown and score an initial kill. If you struggle to do that, I would suggest replacing Bullseye with something a bit more reliable, and then practicing and getting a bit more comfortable with Shaolin before you switch to this style of loadout. Okay, now this next loadout is a bit more crippling arrow focused, with Bullseye at level 5 again because it gives you 4 seconds off the maximum cooldown of Impaler Arrow on kill instead of the 3 seconds you get from Quicksand. And it also affects Quickshot which is an added bonus. We also have Run Them Down at level 5 to increase the cripple effect by 0.5 seconds. This is helpful because it gives you an even greater window of opportunity to kill an enemy before they can run away, and it also lets the Silence effect from Desert Silence last for 2 seconds instead of 1.5 seconds, since the talent lowers the duration on the arrow by half a second. The rest of the cards, as with the last loadout, are really just filler cards. The only noteworthy card is Shimmer because it gives you an escape if you get low on health and your withdraw is down. There's also one important thing to note when using this loadout along with the Explosive Arrows talent, and that is when hitting someone with the explosion and not the actual arrow itself, it doesn't gain the additional half a second of cripple time from Run Them Down. As you can see here, Fernando and Victor are both clearly getting hit with the cripple effect, but only Ying sees it last for an additional half a second. So if you like to use the Explosive Arrows talent because you're reliant on getting the cripple effect off of the explosion, you might not want to consider running Run Them Down in your loadout. Now when playing Shaolin, there are a few tricks and techniques that you can use to boost your gameplay, and one of these tricks is a powerful combo where you simply use Crippling Arrow on a target and then quickshot them to death. 
Now for us older players who are still a bit more familiar with the old Shaolin, this is simply the good old fashioned Impaler Arrow and Planted combo, but now since you can move around and plant it and you no longer need to have the enemy next to a wall to stun them since there is no stun, you have a bit more versatility in where you use this. Normally this is a really easy way to get rid of a pesky enemy flanker, since it's best pulled off in close range. You can also simply use quick shot to burst down a tank, but my personal recommendation is that you save it to finish off any squishy champions who come near you. Next let's move on to the withdraw. This is a pretty straightforward ability, but there are a few things to keep in mind when using this ability, with the first of those being that it doesn't carry much momentum to it. For example, when trying to withdraw across this pit on Trade District, my momentum was almost completely halted and I fell into the pit and died. It's not exactly the best movement ability in terms of the distance you're able to travel, but it is helpful because of its stealth ability. Because you're briefly invisible after activating it, you can use it to peek out and score a free shot while the enemy team doesn't know you're there, which can be very helpful versus a good sniper. Alternatively, you can pair it with the quick shot and crippling arrow combo when a flank comes around, though in my experience a good flanker can usually anticipate where you'll withdraw to, so don't ever think that the enemy doesn't know where you are when you withdraw. If a flanker has already spotted you and you want to use your withdraw to juke them or get away, try and use it at an unpredictable angle, instead of just straight backwards. Flankers' first instinct when they see you withdraw is to shoot straight behind where you were, so this is often the least safe place to withdraw to. Try and withdraw behind cover or at an odd angle so that you can successfully trick the flanker and potentially score a free kill. And lastly, we'll move on to his ultimate. While in his ultimate, Shaolin is completely invisible and fires 50% faster, only breaking stealth when he fires an arrow. Because he does momentarily break stealth each time he shoots, you need to try and fire your arrow from a different spot each time you shoot to keep the enemy on their toes. Also, you should never use your ult when Cassie ults, in the presence of a Strix Flare or Vivian Mine, or when Tyra has you revealed with Hunter's Mark, since all four of those reveals do break your stealth and ruin your ultimate. You also shouldn't walk right up to an enemy with your ult, because even if they don't have Illuminate, they can still see through your stealth at point blank range. As far as when to use his ult, I found it most helpful to use it in one of two situations. One of the best ways to use it is to pop it in the middle of a giant point fight when a lot of the attention is focused on the tanks. This way you can easily skirt around the point and frag out in the backline while catching the enemy team off guard. The next best way to use it is to ambush one or two enemies who are alone, since it pretty much guarantees that you'll be able to kill them unless you miss all of your shots. There's not really much you can do to improve hitting his shots except practice, since his projectiles are so fast that they're nearly hit scan and you only need to make slight adjustments to hit shots at long range. Anyways, that's going to be the end of the first guide of Season 3. Did this guide help you get better at Shaolin the Desert Wind? Let me know in the comment section down below, and also don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this from me. Also, make sure to join my Discord server down below to pick up tips, leave suggestions, and become a part of our active community, and turn on notifications so that you never miss an upload from me. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.